Hello all. Welcome to Tech Horizon Hub. In this part of the series, we will attach disks to the worker nodes and then configure OpenShift Data Foundation for local devices. At the end we will run some workloads using this storage. We can go to IBM Cloud Satellite Location Hosts to look for the worker node details. Now we will create attached disks for each worker nodes we see here. Click on add disk and then give the disk name. Remaining values can be default or change as per your preference. Now we have the disk created and attached to first worker node. Repeat the same process for all the worker nodes. Now we have added disks to all the worker nodes. Let us go ahead and create local storage configuration on the cluster. On our IBM cloud, navigate to, to your satellite location and then select the storage tab. Now click on the create storage configuration. Mention your storage configuration name. For the storage type select OpenShift Data Foundation for local devices. I will go with the latest version here. Click on next to continue. In the next page toggle the values based on the documentation or your preference. Mention the worker node separated by comma here. Click on next to continue. Here we have a mandatory file to enter API key. Refer to the documentation for more details to get this key. Enter value and continue. Here we can view the storage classes for storage configuration. Click on next to continue. On this page we will assign the Red Hat OpenShift from the service section. Click next to continue. Ensure that the storage configuration is created successfully. The following message is displayed. Successfully created storage configuration. Now let us verify the storage configuration on both OpenShift console and via command line. We can see the storage classes on OpenShift console. We will configure a default storage class here. Now we have our OpenShift data foundation for local devices available to run workloads. Now let us deploy any application in the Red Hat OpenShift data foundation. The link provided here step by step procedure for the same. Get the storage classes as mentioned. Create APVC following the example YAML given. We now see the PVC not yet available from OpenShift console. And we will come back here again to verify PVC is created. Now we are creating PVC via YAML file. We see a new PVC entry on the OpenShift console. We proceed further to create application pod from the example YAML. This pod writes current date and time into a test text file. We will apply this YAML which creates an application pod. Let us monitor the pod to see it is up and running. We can verify the pod from OpenShift console. Now we will verify that the app can write data. 
This concludes this video covering storage configuration and application deployment. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.